Hello everybody, I'm Crystal Laura from Android Authority and I'm here in New York City at the Samsung event taking a closer look at the cool new Edge features that could be found on the Galaxy S7 Edge. We have some videos already here on Android Authority of the Galaxy S7 Edge and Galaxy S7 so we hope you're enjoying those but let's just take a closer look and focus on what's new here on the Galaxy S7 Edge's display. As we know, last year the Galaxy S6 Edge's curved display was pretty much just for aesthetics. There really weren't many features that took advantage of the curved display and even this year we would say a big reason for the S7 Edge's curved display is pretty much just because it looks cool. But there are actually really helpful and useful features here. Samsung said they recognize that the majority of users use or try to use our phones one-handed and it's important to access key features while multitasking. For example, while you're drinking some coffee and checking the news. And so here on the Galaxy S7 Edge, when you're either on the home screen or the lock screen, you can swipe on one of the sides of the curved screen to bring up some Edge features. Now last year we were pretty much stuck to just people's Edge but this year on the S7 Edge, we have that and more. As you can see, we have a little page indicator down here because there are a lot of pages of features we can swipe through. You have up to nine of these little pages or panels as Samsung calls them with four different types of pages you can add. So let's start with Apps Edge where we can access our favorite apps or most used apps very quickly which can be very useful. You can also add more apps by clicking on these little plus signs down here. This could save some time or even promote less cluttered home screens, especially since you can add up to 10 apps here, which is very nice. So now we can swipe again to the left and we'll be greeted with another page. And this one is kind of similar, but is more focused on app actions. This type of page is called Task Edge. So for example, opening the camera and taking a selfie, or opening a messaging app and creating a conversation with a certain contact is possible here. And just like any of these pages, you'll always have a little settings icon in the corner where you can add, delete, or create new shortcuts. This page is very simple, but I can imagine if you got into the habit of using these and remembering they're there, you would save a lot of time. Once again, People Edge returns, which gives you quick access to your favorite contacts where you can easily give them a call. And now we have our last type of page, which doesn't really have a specific name, but essentially it's a widget page, which is very cool. You can add long vertical widgets to the edges of your screen, which once again is a way to keep your home screen from being cluttered and also a way to skim news, sports scores, or other articles one-handed. For example, Yahoo News, stocks, sports scores, calendar reminders, weather, and even a compass. Another cool widget you can add is similar to the Apps Edge page, except you can choose which apps show in certain locations. Of course, you can choose to rearrange these panels. So perhaps if you don't want Apps Edge to be on panel one, you can easily move it to page four. You can also simply disable it to save room for other types of panels. Now, when you're within settings for these pages, you can dive a little deeper and click on Edge Panel Handle Settings. And this is where you can choose if you would like these shortcuts to be accessible via the left curve or right curve, and even the exact position from where it pulls out. It will take some extra testing to see if these are going to be as helpful as Samsung says, but so far there's really no reason to think otherwise. I can definitely see myself using some of these edge features to either check things one-handed, access things faster, or declutter my home screen. But what do you guys think of these new edge features on the Galaxy S7 Edge? Leave a comment below and stay tuned here at Android Authority for more coverage on the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, because we are your source for all things Android.